I'm Lance Earl. With the help of my wife, I run the Ask Your Bishop Ministries. It's a, a program where we attempt to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ with our Mormon friends and neighbors. Now, this is a wonderful ministry. It's uh, we, we live in a place where we have so many opportunities and so it's, it's a great opportunity, but it's also greatly difficult because in every Mormon congregation, there are men and women who struggle with doubts, questions, concerns. They're in a faith crisis, but who can they talk to? They can't talk to their religious leaders. They can't talk to family members, to husbands, to wives. Children can't talk to parents for fear of the the struggles that it will cause in their family relationship. And they can't talk to us because if they are seen talking with someone who is uh, well tagged with the, the, the label of anti-Mormon, well, that's just not good. That's just not something that they want to do. So we have this difficulty in trying to reach out to these people. And one of the last things that makes it truly difficult is... When we look at the Mormon people streaming out of their church buildings, for example, we can't tell. Who are those who are struggling? Who are those that want answers? And who are those that simply won't speak with us at all? We don't know, and so we waste a lot of time and effort talking to the wrong people. Now, it's crazy the way God works, because while Lance and Grace Earl, while we were struggling with this difficulty, Joe and Esther Keim have a ministry that in many ways parallels ours there in Ohio, but they were saved from the Amish religion, and they were trying to reach out to the Amish people and having the same struggles, the same difficulties, the same challenges. And then God gave his answer to Esther. And he gave his answer, and the Plowman's Academy was born, which is a, a program of their ministry. And just as God gave his answer to Esther, Esther gave God's answer to us. And this former Amish girl oh, brought us such an incredible program. And hence, the Ask Your Bishop Academy was born, and it's been tailored in the pattern of the Plowman's Academy, the... the uh, the Amish parallel, I guess. So I'd like to take a few minutes and show you what it's all about. But, but actually first, a little preface. In Romans we read, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You see, we won't have success if we go about this in any way be, beyond and accept what God has already ordained. And he says, share my word. And so we wish to share God's Word. So let's have a look at the Ask Your Bishop Academy. This is our website. The website address is askyourbishop.com. And when you go to the main menu, you will see the AYB, Ask Your Bishop Academy. Let's click. And when you get here, you see a table of contents, a brief description of our program. And you see available courses. Now, there's only one listed now, but there are courses coming, so not to worry about that. You can use this program in a couple of different ways. First of all, you can click this link here to request a password, and you can request a password for a specific course, and then you can share that course address and the password with your Mormon friend, if you're so disposed to do that. Or if you're in a situation where it's a little more difficult, maybe you don't feel confident talking with a Mormon and addressing the multi-layered parts of their theology and their doctrine, perhaps you'd rather have someone else do that for you. That's not a problem. You can refer that person to us. We will then reach out to them and say, hey, we just received a referral from such and such. They thought that you might be interested in this course, and here's the reasons why, and this is what you ought to do. By the way, you're already pre-enrolled. Here's your password, and the website address that you need to go to is, and we give it to them. But what if you're in a situation where perhaps it's a neighbor, and you don't want to 
make things uncomfortable, or perhaps it's an employee or an employer. Hey, no problem. You can refer that person to us, but a, you can choose to remain anonymous. And then we will reach out. We'll make the introduction. We'll share the address and the password. But we will say that this comes from a friend or an associate who, at least for now, desires to remain anonymous. And we'll invite them in, and hopefully they will come in the Word of God. We'll capture their attention, and they will turn to Jesus Christ and be saved. Let's take a look at this course, Evidence of the Bible. All of our courses have the same format. There's several sections. In this case, there's archaeological evidence of the Bible. There's Old Testament scroll evidence. There's New Testament manuscript evidence. And finally, there is a section on evaluating Bible translations. And as we go down through this, you can see the first section, archaeological evidence of the Bible. You can see that we asked them to watch this video. And then there's a quiz. These quizzes are all multiple choice or true false, and all they have to do is is work down through them and select the answers that they think are correct. When they finish the quiz, then they can click on submit a question or comment. And clicking here will just bring up a simple form where they can ask those questions or share those comments or observations that are meaningful to them. Now, why do we do this at the bottom of each section? We do it because we want them to reach out so that we can reach back with a personal note, with encouragement, with, uh, with some information about the gospel. Whatever God moves us to share, we will share with them. The next section, Old Testament scroll evidence. This time it's a video and a reading, a quiz, and another opportunity for them to respond to us. New Testament manuscript evidence. It's a video, a quiz, and again, one more time, an opportunity for them to reach out to us. And again, we want to encourage this because each time they reach out, we have a chance to respond. The final section, evaluating Bible translations. They have a reading, they have a quiz, and one more time, they can submit questions and answers. But once they're finished with the course, then we have a completion form. We ask for their name, their email, the course that they're referencing. We ask them to rank our course on a scale of one to five, give us a course review, and we ask for permission to quote some of the things they say for promotion of future Ask Your Bishop courses. And then finally, at the bottom of each course, we have related study. Can the Bible be trusted? There's a reading. We have a couple of videos that they can watch. And so we, we have all of this just in the hope that people will keep growing in the gospel, keep turning to the Bible, as Romans tells us to do. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God, and that's where we want people to be. Now, I hope you can see, I hope you're getting a vision of why this program can be such a success for us and why it has been a success in the Amish uh, ministry. The Plowman's Academy has literally opened the floodgates, and good people are leaving that religion for Christ. We are confident that God has led us to this so that the same thing will happen among the Mormon people. So I hope you catch a vision of this and you will start thinking and praying, who can we recommend for this course? Who should we send personally? Who should we send on a referral basis? And who, even who can we send anonymously and invite them in? You see, we no longer have to try to decide which of the Mormon people will respond and which ones won't. We simply tell everybody. We just go out and make disciples of the world, and we let them choose for themselves. Now, lastly, I have, I have a message for you pastors out there, especially you pastors who are through the Mormon corridor of Idaho, Utah, Arizona. Oh, we pray, we pray that you will allow us to come into your churches, to share this program with your congregation, to share some stories and some testimonies, and that we might all together become a valuable team in God's army, <laughs> leading the Mormon people to Christ and helping them to find a salvation that they desperately want and can't find 
in the faith that they have. Hey, God bless you and thank you for your time.